Hello everybody and welcome back to another X4 guide and as promised we are now at the stage where we're going to look at some splits. Now this one I'm going to do today is going to be a sort of war mission split. So we're going to pick a side, we're going to do the missions facing uh, the enemy that they pick and we'll roll with that and we'll obviously need to expand on our fleet sizes and stuff like that and we may do some of the economy side of things on the way just to help us but mainly we're going to be looking at doing the missions there's going to be another two splits that i'm going to complete alongside this one but this one's going to be the first one to do the second one's going to be an all-out war where we basically we're going to take our stations and we're going to we're going to claim a territory and we're going to spread from that territory into the neighboring territories and obviously leaving, we'll probably leave Argon Prime till the last. Because we've obviously got that to fall back on to. And the third one is going to be where we just basically build our economy up so much that we can actually afford to uh, basically run everybody else into the ground. Um, and hopefully we can just have fleets everywhere and not necessarily go to war per se. But we'll have to expand so much that we're going to have to start taking territories again. But the, the main, the middle one, the main war one, is going to be all about building fleets, massive fleets, and taking over systems and clearing out the systems of, of any enemies and stuff like that. I'm presuming that's going to be a similar style of what we do here, but this is going to be based off missions, so hopefully we'll make enough from the missions to be able to, you know, expand on that. But we'll, we'll get into that. Now, I've flown myself back over to the Argon shipyard. We're going to pick the Argon um faction to defend because we, we started with argon we've got them fully upgraded with the terms of reputation and stuff like that so that's who we're going to who we're going to do and if we get head on over here and we have a look at our factions of relations you can see the argon federation we're almost at the trade-off for subscription there for 10 million uh, now we can do these other bits and bobs here which we'll have a look at at a later stage um but realistically there's no other ones here that we've got kind of held up. Uh, now, there's a couple of things we want to be careful of here. The main one is that we don't pick a side that's about to lose. And the second one is that we um, don't actually cause war with a faction that we don't necessarily want to cause war with. Now, I'd like to keep the um, Taladi on my side. So I'm going to have a look at the missions that I've got. And I'm in this area now, so I should pick up my missions that I'm going to have from the Argon faction. Uh, if we go to mission offers, guild mission offers. Now, because we're so high level with Argon, we're getting the guild missions. Uh, we've also got bountiful resource areas. These are just things that we can do on the side as well. Uh, we've got supplies that we can do, which pop up as that one's just done there. But we've got two choices, uh, Argon versus the Holy Order or Argon versus Xenon. They're both trivial because they'll probably take us to, well, they'll probably ask us to do a very basic attacks. But we're going to head and we're going to take the Xenon and we're going to take the Holy Order. Okay, so we're now on the Holy Order, which is going to be this area here. Now, obviously, no, it's not. Not them. That's the, uh... oh, yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. Holy Order. Sorry, the writing was off then, so I didn't. I missed it. I thought it was. Okay, so if we head on over to our mission manager, we have a look what it's going to tell us to do. It says, The Holy, the Holy Order, an offshoot faction of the Paranid Empire, continues to test our boundaries and those of our allies. These heretics are described by the God Realm, as described by the God Realm of the Paranid, are being pushed from all sides with no allies to speak of. We are looking for trusted friends of the Argon Federation to help keep them in check. Okay, so what does that entail? Well, if we open the briefing, it should tell us a little bit more. Saying, talk to Brandt Springer. Springer. Okay, so if we close the briefing and have a look where we need to go, I think it's going to be. I think it might be there. Why oh, idea? Telling us to go there, but it's telling us to go. So we'll head on over to our state, our ship. Not the one I want. And that's the one I want. So let's head on over to meet this person. Oh, let's select our ship first. Right now, whilst we are 
and then on will be undocking soon. over there. See, we're current on it. There it is. Okay, so while we fly over there, there's just another thing I'm going to point out is that we're, we've got two fleets. Now, our first fleet we've sent over to kind of be around our Grand Exchange headquarters that we've got there. Second fleet that we've got, the Fleet 3, is currently sat in Argon system. I'm actually going to pull this fleet back to the Reach. I'm going to set it to protect. So we'll fly there and protect our money making factory and we're going to expand on that factory throughout all of the all the playthroughs so it can earn us some money because obviously we want to be earning money to buy more ships so let's head on over to our managed funds as we can see accept the operational budget go gives us a nice little injection of about a million credits funds we don't need funds for station credits uh, for station construction that's good Right, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm actually going to build myself a attack fleet. Now, this attack fleet will cost us a lot of money, but we're going to want to basically have it where it's going to be good. It's, and we're going to pick, I, I like the Quasar Vanguard, I always have liked it. I'm going to set it as a high preset, 4.7 million. So we're going to be able to get two of them. So we're going to add two of them to our... Shopping list. And that's going to wipe out all of our funds. Now the reason why I tend to go for the high preset with anything to do with combat is because if you go for low presets, the likelihood is, is it generally doesn't have much of a way of defending itself. And on a one-on-one, -on -one, you're more than likely going to lose. Um, the high presets, if I go back to the high presets now and I'll show you. If we've got Quasar. If you pick a low preset here, it will pick you the lowest of low, the cheapest of cheap. And what that's going to do is, is, is if you look there, it's, it's, you can see, you can see the difference at the bottom here, and you'll see in your own gameplay the difference is quite substantial. In some things, it isn't as substantial, but it's still quite substantial. The other thing you'll find as well is that. All of the four slots will have Mark 1 weaponry. If a ship can take shields, it won't put shields on the modules. Some modules can carry extra shields on them. Uh, generally the engines or something like that. Software is all basic as well. Package computer can only be the level 1 type well. Um but it just makes it that little bit more powerful. So if we if you have a look at the differences, you see you're getting burst weapon output, sustained weapon output, whereas on the low preset, you've got very, very little. It's a massive difference when you're in combat, so just bear that in mind. Yes, you can... I'm not scared of you. You can get away with having a few cheap ones, but you're going to have to back it up with a couple of heavies. The likelihood is, is, is you're going to lose the cheaper ones because they're going to be slower, and yeah, they're going to be basically cannon fodder. However, that being said, you can use them as a bit of a defense me mechanism when it comes to taking out fleets. Because if you've got some cheaper ships, that they're, they're going to be targeted first generally, and you generally get to keep your more expensive ships. But we'll do that more as we start looking at going into more combat. Right now we need two of the bigger fleet, uh, two of the bigger fighters, and then we're going to convert... Well, so we're going to switch over to, the, to one of the two fighters. Uh, so we can just be on site and have it maintained. Now, I've set them both to build, so hopefully they'll build in good time. Let's have a look how they're doing. Yep, they're almost ready already. So let's go and have a look at who we're supposed to meet. Jump out of here. Yes, it's giving us a marker. It's just a marker off me. So hopefully this Holy Order War Room, they've actually got a War Room for the Holy Order. Now I don't tend to do the missions so I'm a little bit rusty when it comes to these. The last one I did was quite some time ago but hopefully we're getting sorted. Captain. Uh, Captain. Captain. 
Yeah, you gonna let me talk to you? Captain. Huh. Captain. Captain. As you can see, Captain. Having a problem to actually speak to him. Captain. 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 Hmm. Hello there. Good luck out there. Okay, so that works. That asked me to. Captain. Not quite sure why that's not gonna. Captain. Hmm. Okay, that should allow us to talk to him. However, for some reason, it's not letting us. Uh, we are allied and everything, so we should be able to take the mission on. I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to give it a quick restart and see if that's going to fix the problem. If not, we may have to move on and go against the Xenon. And welcome back, everybody. Now, unfortunately, it still didn't work when I came back onto the game. So what I've done is I've removed the... Um, the mission completely and what i've done is is actually when i've spoken to Pilot. him it's given me this option which means i'm presuming it's going to let me go from this end so let's let's uh, let's give it a go very good it's my job to coordinate our efforts against the holy order but also volunteer freelance pilots such as yourself if you're here you must have been recognized as an outstanding citizen of the argon federation the federation is in great need for pilots like you while we are always under constant threat of xenon incursions the Holy Order situation itself has become a challenging and complex conflict. As such, we will require any potential recruits to undergo a probation period. The last thing we need is some screw-up turning each and every Paranid against us because they fired on a God Realm ship by mistake. You don't strike me as a screw-up, so why don't we get started? Any questions? What there kind will of jobs? be a wide range of tasks from combat deployments to construction work. Depending on the situation, you will have a selection of tasks to choose from. You will be paid as you complete your allotted tasks, with a potential bonus at the end. Okay, so let's get started. Alright, I have a suitable task picked out for you momentarily. Stay safe out there, pilot. Okay, so let's select the right one here. It's telling us to destroy this hot tethys. So what we can do is we can get our new Quasar Vanguards that we have here and we can find Opte Objects list Opte There we So what we'll do, we'll head to the ship by press shift D. Elite Vanguard. Should highlight, there it is, it's highlighting it. So there is Hot Tethy. What we can do is if we get our property owned, our two Quasar Vanguards, right click, attack. So even though it's a friendly, they can still attack it. And obviously it's only a small vessel, so we should expect it to not have too much of an impact. You can get away with balancing your reputation by, you know, destroying some ships that you need to. And then if you want to keep that reputation, go out doing missions for them or, you know, do, doing trades for them and stuff like that. Now, because we've had trades for them before, we may actually find that we'll struggle to actually lose our reputation quite quickly. Uh, now, that might be a good advantage because it does mean that we can still fly through their system. It also means that they're not likely to attack us on site. What could happen is, is they could end up attacking us, taking out our stations, and Argon won't bother to do anything about it because they're not, even though they're at war with them, they tend not to have this battle with them, so. But we'll send our two Quasar Vanguards, these are the two new ones that we had, so they're only, you know, just down the road. Just come from the wharf here. Now obviously we want to take over one of these uh, at some stage, so once we've attacked this, we'll probably send them to the shipyard here, and then we'll meet them at the shipyard there. So what we're going to do is if we head to our property owned, the one that's highlighted slightly lighter, dock out. 
The ship will be undocking soon. Now we could have asked them to dock here while they're around to corner from here. Actually, as a matter of fact, I'm going to do that actually. So let's just cancel, move all orders. We'll get them to dock here because I have a feeling we might have to speak to this guy again. Now, once we unlock it, we'll be able to teleport to that ship because it's in the same sector. But we haven't got it researched just yet, so we're not going to be able to. But you can see, you can completely control the entire war from anywhere on the map. Ships will go out there and do it for you. And you could just sit here and just hand the quests in once you've completed the missions, should I say. Hand them in once you've completed them. And then move on to the next one. I don't want to go into too much on this episode now because it's kind of an introduction. I want to let you know where we're going with it. And then you can see kind of how it'll unfold as we do more of it. But right now, let's get this first mission completed and get it killed. It shouldn't take too long to kill it. They're in range nearly now. You actually zoom in normally. If it's a bigger ship, you'll start getting the outline of the bigger ship, obviously. But because they're so small, they're not going to give you that. Now, this is... I think this is kind of like a test target, so it doesn't move around. So it should be over pretty quick. Our quasars are in now. Any second now, they'll start attacking it. Yeah, here we go. That's it. You're done for. You can actually hear the combat. Where's that combat? The station under attack. Like our station was actually under attack by orders. something. I don't know what. I can't see it. Oh, ARG's ours. ARG. Fine. Not quite sure what's attacking it. I don't think it was hitting the station because I could hear it. Okay, so we've destroyed them that, that ship now. So let's head to our mission manager and we can see that we have Yeah. Talk to Brant Springer. They you would need to speak to him. So let's head on back to him. Hopefully won't, hopefully won't cause us too many problems like it just did before. Hopefully a lot us hand it in. Otherwise, we're not going to be able to do any missions with him. Here we go. Go, Captain. Excellent. Yes, we can. I saw. Very good. You will now find the tasks related to the Holy Order conflict in your mission interface. Right. What that'll hopefully mean now is that we don't have to keep coming back to him every five seconds. But we might have to. But let's have a look. Mission manager. Uh, upkeep missions. Oh, this mission. We have no other missions. Oh yeah, we do. I press the wrong button. Got the Hattic Var, Holy Order versus Argon, or we've got fire recovery, or the importance of first impression. not getting anything for the war effects. So what we can do is, is we can then move on to our second mission that we have, the Argon versus Xenon, and we can go ahead and complete that with them. So let's have a look. Talk to Laura Asuni. Okay, set is active. We'll get our two ships here. Two dock here. Greetings. Okay, where is Ali sure where it is, but we'll teleport to the ship because it'll give me a highlight of where it is. Oh there we go. Looks like it's in Hattic Hattic Bars of Choice 3 on this ship. Yeah, that's fine. So that's what we're gonna go ahead and do now. I'm not gonna get to do. I'm not gonna do that whilst we're on camera. I want to keep this this short and sweet, so you can see where we're heading in this direction. I also want to show off the uh, the new ships that we've got, which they'll be in. Oh, I think they're already in. 
And it looks like one of them is actually right next to us. That's nice. There it is. Look at that. This is a heavy fighter, so you can see it's much, much bigger than the one we're in at the moment. The ones there you go. There's two of them. These are new combat vessels that we have with the cannons and everything. Now they do look smart. Um, we've obviously got our new logo design on there that we picked out. The bird with the guitar. I love the look of these these heavy these heavy fighters. Look at me. Hello there. We can go ahead and we can actually get inside one of these now. If we wanted to, we could take control of it if we want to, just like we do with the other ones. It's got a similar layout, apart from that this is here. So we drop down in here. But we're we're on board now, so when we go to our next mission, we can actually join in the... Well, we can watch the combat, or we can do it ourselves. Um, so that's going to be it for this episode, as I say, nice and short one. I don't want to go into too much detail just yet, because on the next episode, I, I, I will complete the, the Xenon one. Or at least I'll get over to the Xenon uh, War Room and we'll see what they've got for us there. And then we'll we'll go further from there and hopefully we'll have more missions coming through because we've now got two war fronts basically and hopefully we can bounce between the two. And now I know the Xenon one usually has a lot more missions. Uh, and the good thing about Xenon is, is everybody hates them so we're all good. And they will start to try and take over the systems if we're not careful so... Uh, we could do with trying to push them back really so that's going to be on the next mission uh, on the next episode but we'll, we'll target the xenon we'll try and thin their ranks a little bit these two fighters here even though they're heavy fighters are still going to struggle against normal fighters and um, they're a little bit slower than normal fighters so it's a little harder for them to track them um, when we come to building fleets we want to kind of balance everything so we want a couple of light fighters a couple of heavy fighters a frigate Moving on to then have that as kind of like a fighting squad. Do the same again and then move it so it's like with a cruiser or something like that. And ultimately we want a carrier. And the carrier will have lots of fighter escorts. Plus we'll have these small um, skirmish teams as well. Uh, we're going to rename a few things as well so we can see what we're actually doing. So we know where everything is. It's a little bit easy to control it. Obviously as you've seen the fleet breakdown. It's going to allow us to uh, control the fleet. So, until next time, everybody, take care for now. Remember, leave your comments in the comment section. Let me know what you want. Let me know if you want me to go a different direction, different route. I add routes. I don't mind doing more than you know more than the three that I've got planned. Uh, if you've got any questions or anything you want clarifying, or if I'm missing pressing some short keys that you'd like to know the answers to, let me know in the comment section. But until next time, everybody, bye bye for now.